welcome to both part of the video for the question paper discussion uh, for the subject basic electrical engineering in the which has happened in the year of june july 2023 uh, moving on to the discussion question number nine with a neat wiring diagram and two table explain the three-way control of lamp okay so what you're supposed to do is we, what we require is we require a neat circuit diagram neat circuit diagram which uh, comprises of like a now three switches like s1 then s2 s3 this s2 is actually known as intermediate switch okay intermediate switch which offers uh, two conditions one is straight connection other one is called cross connection then you prepare a truth table. Prepare truth table. There will be total eight conditions. Eight conditions. Okay. P, Q, R, like that. You can mention eight conditions. Okay. You have to like four conditions for cross connection, another four, four conditions for straight connections. So that is done for question number uh, nine. Question number nine. Okay. You can see nine A. Question number nine B. For a residential house, the following loads are connected. Six lamps. Okay. Six into how many, uh, what is the rating of one lamp? 40 watts. Uh, for how many hours it is going to be operated? Five hours. Okay. Uh, then, only, only one day, right? Yes. Uh, two fans. Two fans, which has the rate of 60 watts. Okay. 60 watts. How many hours it is going to be operated? 12 hours. Okay. Plus, one uh, thousand watt heater thousand watt heater for how long it is going to be used for another two hours per day plus one refrigerator what is the rating 250 watts rating okay for 10 hours if you compute you will be getting uh, definite amount of energy in terms of kilowatt hour then then we have to calculate the cost okay uh, rupees 6.560 so that has to be multiplied with this KWH that has to be multiplied with uh, 6 rupees 50 paisa. Then you will be getting the total electricity bill. I will be showing you the answer. You can check it up, verify the answer. This is a method I am explaining. So everybody please work out once so that you will be understanding the concept. Very easily you can get the score. Don't leave this question. Okay. So many of the people are leaving these kind of questions. It is very easy. You might have studied during your 10th and 12th standard. Okay. Lower level classes you might have studied. See, the answer is uh, 41392. Uh, okay. So you just check it up. Just check, check, it, check it up the answer. Okay. Next is question number uh, 9C. 9C. What is electric shock? Okay. Sudden discharge of electricity towards the body that is generally called as uh, electric shock it may impact like there are different type of impacts okay mm, mini, like uh, you can mention different ranges also uh, list that means uh, our body that become a conductor okay there is a uh, like a current start flowing in order to pass the current there should be like a higher potential and lower potential lower potential ground will act as lower potential where your upper surface will act as a high potential so due to the difference in potential current flow starts List the preventive measures. So you can generally you can write avoid uh, use the high quality of appliances. If you whenever you are operating with electric shock, you are supposed to use the gloves. Then you are supposed to put on the shoe. Okay. Uh, also, we have to maintain uh, like uh, avoid the moisture content. Uh, like uh, if you don't uh, test the broken conductor, like that you can explain. You make sure that you are purchasing the high quality of insulation. Okay. So electric shock, weightage is 2 marks, precautions 4 marks. Then question number 10a, what is earthing? Non-current carrying metal part is going to be connected to the ground to, pro to protect the uh, per person. Okay, those who are operating. It's a personal safety. Earthing is personal safety. With, which, uh, with the help of uh, explaining one type of earthing. There are two types of earthing. What are they? Uh, plate earthing. One is called a plate earthing. Plate earthing. Another one is called as pipe earthing. Piper thing. Explain anyone. Okay. With a neat diagram. Similarly, explain the working principle of fuse. Okay. 
uh, and uh, MCB, fuse and MCB. Uh, fuse you can easily draw, like uh, fuse will always connect to the phase. Uh, when is the uh, heating effect of electricity? Main principle is you are supposed to explain the heating effect. MCB make and break. You are to explain about the fixed contact, moving contact. How does it operate? Okay. Uh, then what are the desirable characteristics of a tariff? And it should be reasonable. Uh, there should be like a reasonable amount of profit. Okay. It should be informative, uh, easily understood by the customers. Correct. It should be attractive. Those things you can explain. Uh, two part tariff. There are two components. One is called the fixed cost. Okay, fixed cost you are supposed to explain. Then running cost. Running cost. So like uh, rupees A into uh, KW kilowatts plus rupees uh, C into kilowatt hour. This much of amount. This is called a fixed cost. That is depending on the maximum demand. Where this is called as uh, running cost. That is depending upon the number of units consumed. Number of units consumed. Okay, that is regarding... Uh, the uh, two-part tariff very easy question please don't leave this i request you that you can write the like a fifth module uh, at the beginning itself immediately you can confirm your score it is a very simple chapters general only okay so these are the like a key how they are preparing the key you can follow according to the key okay like a uh, working principle three mcb four working principle of fuse if you write you'll get three marks then characteristics will be three two-part tariff three like that they are going to divide if you have any queries, you can put up in the comment box. One request, if you are watching our channel, first, my channel first time, kindly subscribe. And uh, if the video is pleased with you or if the video is useful for you, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.